After yet another exciting race, Zandvoort was becoming ever more popular with teams, drivers and spectators alike. I think the great thing about Zandvoort was a very, a very close-knit sort of thing. I mean, the, the fans were, were really very, very keen, as they are many places, but, you know, they really did come in, the, in and, and that makes a big difference. If, the, if you're playing to a public, I, I think it's the same in the theatre, if you're playing to uh, people who really appreciate what you're doing, it, it's a much more rewarding thing. And I think uh, Zahnvoort was a track that uh, uh, brought people who were like that. When Alfa Romeo and Talbo Lago withdrew from Grand Prix racing at the end of 1951, Ferrari was the only team left with a competitive Formula One car. To ensure Grand Prix racers would continue to attract enough entrants, the International Automobile Federation decided that in 1952, the World Championship was to run for smaller engines, less expensive Formula Two cars, of which there were many. Apart from these new cars, the World Championship was also to feature a new circuit. In 1952, the Dutch Grand Prix counted towards the World Championship for the first time. So in August that year, the Ferraris of Ascari and Farina, they lined up right here on the front row of the grid. 19 drivers came to Holland for what was the seventh and penultimate round of the championship. Amongst the entrants were for the first time two Dutchmen, Jan Flinterman, seen here pushing his Maserati, and Dries van der Lof in an HWM. Some 40,000 spectators saw Alberto Ascari dominate. The Italian won from pole position in his Ferrari 500 F2, beating his teammates Farina and Villarese in the 90-lap race that lasted a little less than three hours, despite a brief rain shower. Ascari's victory sealed his and Ferrari's first ever world title. The smooth running of this inaugural Dutch World Championship round only raised Zandvoort's profile as being one of Europe's best circuits at the time. Zandvoort, from my point of view, was a race I'd look forward to going to because of where it was, the place and the people. Uh, the circuit itself was a very nice one. It, 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 it was, you know, something that you could, you could relax and then go out and enjoy it. It wasn't something really hard. But there are times, obviously, as a racing driver, when you want, when you want circuits that are more difficult or more dangerous. I think Zahnvoort is probably one of the most, most safest uh, circuits, actually. And it was one we look, always look forward to because of A, where it was, and B, because of the, the atmosphere and the people and the food. And hopefully the girls.